What's up, YouTube? What's up? And here we are. We finally got another release. Let's take a look at it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay, with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and that's right, I am back with the news. Got some interesting news today. Not a lot of news, but we do have some things to talk about. First up, let's take a look at this right here. Let's bring it up on the screen. We got this from Hot Toys late last night, and it says, branches continue to grow on the scarred timeline, and and uh, so does our Loki. It took me some, some reading without my glasses. I, I bet y'all like, he can't even read. Look at him, he can't read. And so does our Loki collection. More variants will soon grace your marvelous display. Wow. So that means we're going to get some season two Loki goodness. That is awesome. That's going to be great. Now, the question is, question is, ladies and gentlemen, what are we going to get? Like, what figures are we going to get? Now, I'm thinking we're going to get the he, the he who remains Loki. That's what I'm thinking what we're going to get. Um, that was the, the last Loki we saw when he was grabbing all the branches and pulling them together and forming that tree. That was amazing, amazing scene. And like, kind of like from what Tom Hiddleston was saying, kind of like the swan song for, for the Loki role. So to finally see Loki with his throne and to fulfill his his glorious purpose that he was burdened with is going to be amazing. Um, and I think we'll get it as a figure. Um, the costume looked great. It's way different than his regular costume, the costume that we've seen him in in the Avengers and that we've seen him in. I mean, when we first seen him on screen, you know what I'm saying? In the all the way back in the first Thor movie. So to see this costume and to see how the, the, uh, the crown looks, the robes were a little bit more tattered real good great story arc with this character right here and i think a lot of people would get that as a figure now would it be interesting if we do get this figure how are they going to show like all the vines and everything and have that pull like how are they going to show all him grasping all those branches that's going to be interesting is it going to be like a diorama will we get a golden throne and him sitting on it grabbing those branches that would be awesome so i don't know how they would do that but i mean it is be it'll be interesting to see what hot toys would do i'm thinking it's gonna have to be some type of diorama piece that they would do but i think it's amazing um them even doing that and taking that on if they do that if they don't do that that's a complete miss it's a complete miss i think most people really loved the season finale of loki i think it personally i think it's one of uh disney plus best shows i really do i think it's one of the best disney plus shows especially not just marvel shows but disney plus shows period i think they did a real good job on both seasons especially this season um this it, this season was a little heady you know what i'm saying it wasn't i think the loki show in all was something like if you told me like back you know back in 2019 2020 oh we're getting a loki show this is not the show i thought we would get but I love what we got, and I, I think it was a great story and a great arc to his character. Um, I mean, this character has died so many times. It's hard to even take. I mean, this wasn't a death. This just, you know, I mean, he got his he got his golden throne. But, you know, just talking about the show, the show is amazing. But the, it'd be great to see this in figure form. Now, they say very ints. So I'm thinking, what else can we get? What else did we get in season two? Um, that's going to be interesting to see. What else did we get in season two? Can we get, uh, and we're going to be talking about more of this one, Best of the Best, or I know we'll definitely be talking about it on Say What with Lail um, um, tomorrow night on Wednesday. Um, but I wonder what other variants can we get? Uh, I guess we could get, we just got to look at what they've already done. I guess they could do another uh, Sylvie. They could do Sylvie because her haircut was different. She had the jacket on over the costume. Real interesting look. Hey, I would like to even see her with the McDonald's uniform on. But you know we're not getting that. <laughs> for, you know, obvious reasons, we're not getting that. Um, Hot Toys ain't going to pay for the McDonald's license. They're not going to do that. But that would be cool if a third-party person took the head sculpt of it, you know, later on down the line. I'm getting ahead of myself. But... That would be cool. That would definitely be cool if they did that. But I, don't, I can't think of another Mobius. Will, will, will we get a Mobius? I would, hey, I'm all for an Owen Wilson figure. 
I'm all for that. He's dope. So um, to get that figure, I mean, all you would really, I mean, they have the parts. They have the tailoring. All you got to do is make that Owen Wilson head sculpt, put the body and put the TVA Loki outfit on him, you know, minus the harness with the sword. And there you go. You know, so we can get a Mobius. Um, it, it, we can get it for a low price, a low price, do a short run. They could do that. So there are some things that they could do. Um yeah man but they say variants so at the minimum i'm i'm guessing uh we would get the he who remains the he who remains loki and sylvie with the jacket and the new haircut um i'm thinking that's what we would get um if anything that's what we get up oh, looks like we're buffering a little bit but yep we're back um but yeah that's what that's what we would get but that's it for that one right there and that came that little bit of news came out last night. Now, we got a release. We got a release, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh. And look, I'm I really wasn't into the internals. I really wasn't at all. Um, I know there's some people out there that got that have Thena. Um, I believe Leo has Thena. Um, I look at it like this. If you have Thena. You definitely got to get this figure. You got to get this figure. The movie itself, I wasn't digging. Didn't like the movie at all, honestly. But this figure looks great. Lack of accessories, yes. But man, the likeness on this is amazing. This just looks great. Look at that. Look at that. That looks fantastic. They did an excellent job. Sorry, I cannot remember the actor's name, but he is awesome. I've seen him in a couple other movies outside of this, and he was just great. Um, so, yeah, the likeness is spot on. I mean, they did this guy. They they did it up on him. Um, good looking figure. Great looking figure. And I wasn't too much of a big fan of the outfits from the Eternals. I thought they looked like they were just wearing gowns. I, I get it. They were gods, supposed to be gods, but it just... I didn't like it, um, but I did like his costume, and I also like Thena's costume. Thena's co Thena probably had the best costume, to be honest with you. She probably had the best looking costume, and I mean, it's Angelina Jolie. Come on. Um, so this figure right here, I think he looks great. I think he turned out very well. I think they did the damn thing. I mean, he he doesn't. Ha he's not the most exciting figure, guys. He really isn't. He's not. Um, but what you get, the likeness and costume and tailoring. Spot on, spot on. And if you have Thena, you got to get him. That's how I feel about it. If you have Thena, you might as well go ahead and, and get him just to have that internals representation in your collection. It's sad. I know we're not going to get the rest of them. We're not going to get Macari. We're not going to get um, um, Icarus. We're not going to get, you know, I'm not, we're not going to get all of them. I get it. But if you want to complete a shelf, like a, a Detolf shelf, here you go. Here you go. And he's a good looking figure. Doesn't come with a lot. Yeah, kind of boring. If you really weren't into the movie, I get it. But he is stunning. He does have a presence. The costume looks great. The head sculpt looks amazing. What more can I say? It looks dope. It looks dope. Like, and just the pictures. Kinder did a great job on this. He looks amazing. Just, yeah. I mean, I'm not in, uh, like I said, I'm not going in on this line, but damn, this looks good. Like, come on, we know how it is. We may, and I think he came out around that time where they were like mass producing a lot of this shit. So he may be in, we, it's going to be hard to, it's going to be hard to tell. Are we going to get a lot of these? Maybe not. Maybe this is a short run. Maybe this is. And I think this may be a thing. And you know, these type of figures I hate using the G word, but these type of figures do become grails. The ones that nobody is, it, it's really not on anybody's radar. Nobody cares. And then next thing you know, they shoot up in value. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful. You got to really be careful. But don't buy this just because of that, that this may have grail potential. Don't buy it just because of that. Have some attachment to it. If you have some attachment to it or you just like the figure or you just like the actor and you just want to have some representation of the Eternals and you're on the fence, I would say get it. Get it for the fact that it may be a grail. Get it for the fact that it may be a rarity. Because let's face it, a lot of people are not going to have this in their collection. They're not. And then somebody sees your collection. They're like, oh, my God, you have Eternals figures? If I got the only two, 
damn, you know what I'm saying? So get it for that, but you got it. But don't get it just because it's a rarity because it may not. It may be an abundance of this and then you're just wasting money, you know, but I don't know. But look at this right here. You look at the two of these right here and they look good, guys. They do. They look they look damn good together. They do as they should, as they should be. They look great. Um, so like I'm saying, man, if you want to have that representation of the Eternals in your collection, I say go with it. If you have Thena already, I say go with it and get them. Seriously, if you can. I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if he's sold out. I'm not sure if he's sold out on Sideshow. He just may be. This may be a short run. I haven't checked. But if you can get him and you're mildly interested in getting it, I say go for it. I say go for it because not a lot of people are going to have it. I don't think a lot of them are going to be out there. And I think when it's gone, it's gone. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but I think it looks great. I think they, I think Hot Toys executed on this very well. And it turned out to be a great figure. So look, look at these pictures. Look at that. Damn, the lighting on this shit. Look at, the, look at that sculpt. He just looks amazing. And I mean, I'm sorry that the Athena figure looks great as well. But I think once again, this is where rooted hair is the shit. Now, I know they weren't going to spend all the money and put rooted hair on this figure. And the figure, you know, underperforms and doesn't sell. I get it. I get it. But man, if you can get on that waiting list. <laughs> and talk to Tina, you know, or somebody that can get you some rooted hair on that. I think I think you would really have something. But you know, even without the rooted hair, um, the figure still looks great. The Athena figure looks great. And these two together, just dynamite. They look amazing. They look look at that sculpt. Like in every angle, just amazing. They did an excellent job on this. Look at that. I'm kind of talking myself into it, guys. I really am. Because the more I look at it, I'm like, damn, I really kind of want that. But I don't need it. I don't need it. Several other things coming out. Got to stay strong. Got to stay strong. Got to stay strong. But um, it looks good, man. It really does. I think they did an excellent job on the execution on this. He's super expensive and comes with nothing. That's the problem. That is the problem. But that, but the tailoring of that suit and that head scope, that's what you're paying for. That is what you're paying for. That is what you're paying for. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for today, man. Um, Like I said, light news. I did hear some information. I heard some things within the community. I heard some things about a possible list of things that may be dropping. Um, I'm not going to talk about it now because Hot Toys always switches up and changes the game on us. So I'm not going to talk about it. But I heard some good things. I heard about some Buzz Lightyear maybe dropping. I heard about Wolverine maybe dropping. I heard uh, Catwoman, Selena Kyle maybe dropping. I heard about that's what I heard about. But like I said, you ain't here from me. You know what I'm saying? You ain't here from me. And Hot Toys, they could switch the game on us any damn time time they could just switch it up on us they can just switch it up anytime they want so who knows we may not get anything this week this is all we may get this week it's been it's been slight i mean uh october and and early this half and which we are almost halfway through november has been lacking man i thought we would have had wolverine by now i thought we would have had kenobi and kenobi vader by now but no nah, we're still waiting you know so the sad thing is all this shit is going to hit like in a month of December or if it doesn't beginning of the year. So you're going to hit us at the holiday. Even, even, look, this was going to happen. They're even going to hit us right in the heart of the holiday when we paying for gifts and stuff for everybody else. And then we got to find a way to shell out money. If you haven't pre order if you didn't do pre-orders and paid off all your pre-orders like I didn't, dumbass. But. You're going to be hit with all this stuff right when you're trying to go Christmas shopping or you're going to get hit after you just spent all your money Christmas shopping in January and trying to pay off them Christmas bills and you broke. So either way, it's just going to be bad and good at the same time. Y'all know how it is. It's like we hate it, but we also love it. So, you know, what I'm saying I guess I'm saying we we love to be broke. I guess that's what it is. I guess that's what I'm saying. Weird. But anyway. That's all I got to say, guys. My ass is rambling. Remember, like, share, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the flip side. Deuces.